When a storm hits the Outer Banks, the area of downtown Manio is prone to flooding. High water and power outages can cause several issues during and after the storm. There are a few things the town would like the public to be aware of to ensure safety and minimize property damage during such an event. We have had a problem in Manio uh, historically with uh, folks wanting to go downtown to see what the storm is doing. And I certainly understand that. However, when people drive through in their automobiles or trucks, they create wakes and it sends their water into the shops. I think a lot of people do it honestly. They don't understand the problems they're causing, but it creates a bad situation. Shops that would not have suffered any damage often will receive six, eight inches of additional water based on those wakes that the vehicles cause. I'm Jamie Anderson, owner of Downtown Books in Downtown Manio, probably the lowest spot in Downtown Manio. Sometimes we have time to prepare for storms by lifting up our inventory, moving fixtures, rolling up rugs. Sometimes we don't. Driving a little too fast through a little too much water can mean the difference between our stores staying dry and getting wet. And even though the storm has passed, we're still going through an unusual period of prolonged high tides. And periodically that forces the sound water back through our stormwater system and it's flooding our streets downtown. So as you go into the downtown area, please, please be mindful of those flooded areas. In the town of Manteo, if you will get your debris to the curbside, the town of Manteo Public Works staff will come and remove it. If you have particularly large trees in your yard or something in the front yard adjacent to the right-of-way, we will certainly help you in cutting those limbs and trees up. We're also a party to the Dare County debris removal contract. If there are large accumulations, especially of commercial debris, through that association with that contract, the FEMA subcontractors will pick it up and we will do our best to keep our citizens informed of when those pickups will be provided. From time to time we will lose power to a wastewater lift station in the downtown area and when this happens there's no real threat of that untreated sewage being discharged into the sound. However, we would ask that you refrain from washing clothes, dishes, any high, high impact water use until we can repower those lift stations and get our system up and running again. And in closing, I'd just like to say I am so proud of the resiliency of our community. Uh, we're very lucky to have the staff that we have, and our citizens are also veterans of this. They understand the dangers, and as much as we love our visitors, we love nothing better than you coming to Manio and the opportunity to show off this wonderful town. But please, please, when the water's high, don't come downtown. <laughs>